Welcome to my next green foot lesson at MrStewartsLessons.com. We're going to continue to work on our fruit wars game. We're going to make the pie ship move now, but we're going to do it in a new way. We're going to change the x and y coordinates of the ship directly. The x coordinate is how far to the left of the side of the screen it is, and the y coordinate is how far down from the top it is. So the move method already exists, but it doesn't really do what we want. It only moves forward in whatever direction the actor is pointing. What we want to do is make it drift. So that means we're going to change the move command. We're going to make a new move command within the pie ship class. This is going to create the move command that already exists in the actor class, which is something you can do in object-oriented programming. So I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to uh, bring up the pie ship uh, command menu. I'm going to go down below uh, the uh, turn on command feature. I'm going to start a new method and so I'm going to type public void move and I'm going to type open parentheses but I'm not going to type a close parentheses because this method is going to expect some arguments. You've already passed arguments to the move command, in that case how much you wanted it to move, but in this case we're actually changing the x to y coordinates, so we need to know how much to change the x and y coordinates. So to change the x coordinate, I'm going to make a very uh, uh, argument called change x. So I'm going to type int change and then a capital X. So this is uh, INT stands for integer, as you have know, know from before. And um, this is, so this means it's going to expect uh, to get a number here when we pass it. And then I'm going to do another one called change Y. So I'm going to type INT, then change in a capital Y. And then I'm going to do close parentheses. This means when I run the move command, it's going to expect to have two numbers in parentheses with a comma between them. I'm going to hit the Enter key. I'm going to hit an open curly bracket, hit Enter two times, and a close curly bracket. So I want you to put in the move command as I did before. Public void move, and then in parentheses you will do int change x and int change y. Now. I'm going to put in the command that actually moves the ship. What I want to do is change the x and y coordinate, but first I need to know what they are. So I'm going to create a variable to represent the x. I'm going to type int x equals. So I'm creating an integer variable called x because I'm creating it inside the method. It's going to go away as soon as the method stops running. And I'm going to hit control space and I'm going to uh, use a method here, a new method here called get x. This is going to return to us the uh, x coordinate of the ship, that is how far to the left, uh, how far to the right it is of the left side of the screen. So I want you to pause it and do the same thing. Type int x equals get x. Now I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to do the same thing with the Y. You can probably figure it out by yourself. Why don't you pause? You might want to pause it and try and do it on your own, or you could just watch what I do. Type int Y equals, and I'll do a get Y feature, a get Y method, which is right there. Don't forget to end with the every every command with a semicolon. Okay, now. What I need to do is I'm going to create new x and y that I want to move it to. So I'm going to type int new x, which is where I'm moving it to, and I'm going to type an equal sign. So what we want to do is take the old x, and then we want to add on the change in the x. So I'm taking the old x, I'm adding on the change in the x, and that's going to give me the new x that I want to move it to. So I want you to type the same thing 
int new x equals x plus change x. Don't forget your semicolon. Okay, so you should have typed that in. Hopefully you can figure out that we're doing the same thing for the y now. So I'm going to type int new y equals y plus change y. And I'll put in a semicolon there too. So pause it and put in the int new y equals y plus change y. Okay, now we have new x and y coordinates that the ship is going to be uh, moving to. I'm going to set the location to the new x and y coordinates. To do that, I'm going to use a new method. And so I'm going to hit control space. And this new method is the set location, which tells, puts the new the ship or the actor in a new X and Y location. And I'm going to set it to the two variables I've created, the two integer variables, which is expecting two integers. So I'm going to type new X. It's going to be the new X coordinate and new Y. That's going to be the new Y coordinate. And then I'm going to put a semicolon. So I want you to pause it and put in your set location feature now. Okay, we've created the method, but nothing's going to happen yet because I haven't called it yet. Uh, I have to call it up in my act method. But to call it, I have to give it past these two arguments. But I don't know what they are yet. So I need to create them first. So I'm going to go up before my act method, and I'm going to create two new variables, which are the speed that the ship is going up and down and the speed the ship is going left and right. The left and right speed we'll call the horizontal speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable that's going to persist all the way through as the program runs. This is called a field. Uh, it's not inside of a method. It's outside of a method. It happens before any of the methods go. And I'm going to, so I'm going to, and I have to type it this way. I'm going to type private int and then I'm going to type horizontal speed. So the private means that it can only be used within the pie ship. It can't be called by somebody else outside of the pie ship. Um, and uh, the int, as you know, means it's got to be a number. And now I'm going to create another one called private int vertical speed. That's how, how fast it's moving up or down. So I want you to pause it and type in these two variables, private int horizontal speed, private int vertical speed. Now, I want to give these two, I can create variables without giving them any value, but in this case, I want to give them a value. I'm going to make them equal to something. So I'm going to say that this is equal to, let's say it's a horizontal speed of negative 2. Negative 2 means it's moving 2 to the left every turn. If it was positive 2, it would be moving 2 to the right. And then for vertical speed, I'm going to make it equals just three. That means it's moving three down every turn. If it was negative, it would be moving three up. So pause it and give it these two values or whatever values you want, but don't make them too big or it'll look really crazy. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost ready to call this method. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put in the move command. If you hit control space, you'll see there's a move command here. And you see there's two move commands. This is the regular move command that already existed, which is we could still use, which was, is only going to just move it forward a certain amount. But here we have a different move command, which we just made, which expects two coordinates. And so we want this one. And that, that's because in this case, we're going to actually change the coordinates rather than just moving it forward. So I'm going to double click on the this one that created that has expects two 
uh, integers, okay? And it's looking for the change x and change y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the change x the horizontal speed. Right, x is horizontal, x means left and right. And the y is the vertical speed, y means up and down. And then I'm going to remember a semicolon at the end here. I'm going to double check and make sure I have semicolons everywhere that I expected to have semicolons. Um, I'm going to make sure my all my variables are working. It's always good to check these things. And um, now I'm going to close it. I'm going to compile. Now I'm going to put in a pi. I've set a horizontal and vertical speed, so I'm going to run it. And you're going to see my pi is drifting. And I can change my speed if I want. Uh, say I'll make set the horizontal speed to positive 3 and the vertical speed to negative 1. I'm going to close it. I'll compile it. Put in a pi again and I'll run it. And this time it'll move in a completely different direction. So I want you to put in the move horizontal speed, vertical speed. Don't forget your semicolon. Then compile it and run the method and then try changing around the horizontal and vertical speed and see the different ways that it drifts. When you come back on the next one, I'm going to show you how to, when we turn the pi, accelerate it in different directions as we press the space bar, make, uh, make it actually move, uh, uh, accelerate in different directions like a rocket. I will see you next lesson.